let's talk about the world that we live in today. This is a straight up clown ass world, bro. I needed to need to do this rant. So I'm about to rant on this video. This right here, if you think about everything that's going on in the world today, right? And first of all, the population is getting way out of fucking control right now. There's over 8 billion people in the world. 8 billion people. Now, I'm going to get somewhere with this. Just hold on. They said by 2030, 2030, there's, there's, there should be a number, expected number of 10 billion. And they said that it's going to be a food shortage. It's going to be total chaos. I think this is by 2030. Yeah, yeah. Something like that around that time, if I'm not mistaken. Now, you know, every time we turn on the news, I don't even watch the fucking news. I don't get into that shit because, like you say, every time you turn on the news, there's always somebody committing a crime, somebody killing, somebody stealing. Uh, you already, you hear about certain stores and certain communities. I'm not going to get off into that. They're closing down because of the, of the death rate. You know, so if people will please stop fucking reproducing right now, I'm not saying period. Why? First of all, everything started really, 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 really going downhill in 2020. That's when things started going downhill. And you know that everybody knows that everybody knows that. Things started going downhill, downhill in 2020 when that, you know, that whatever happened. I'm not even going to, I can't say it on here on this video because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube's community standards. But they acting like, they acting like some hoes right now. They acting worse than Facebook. I don't know about that. I don't think anybody could be worse than Facebook, though. See, YouTube, you can say some shit on your video. They just, if your shit is monetized, see, my videos are not monetized right now, so I can say wherever the hell I want. But once they become monetized, of course, I'm going to have to, you know, watch my words, watch the title, watch what I put on the title of my videos, and watch what I say. You know how that shit is. I, I watch what I say, and all that for the money. Fucking right, I will. But for right now, I'm, I'm going to enjoy me ranting, cursing, and not pretty much giving a damn right now. So it's crazy to me how every because, OK, for one thing in the Bible, it says, that, you know, basically there's nothing new under the sun thing. People saying that we in we in the end times because things are seem like it's getting worse than it was back then, right? I'm going to tell you why things are getting worse. Back then, the population wasn't at 8 billion. The population is 8 billion now. So what that tell you? The more people that come into this world, okay, there that's why there's more crime because there's simply more people here. Stop reproducing until the numbers go down a little bit, until things go. Well, I don't think things will ever go back to normal, but it's not as bad as it is right now. See what I mean? Because, man, come on, bro. Like, it's too much competition already, you know, going on in this world. And then now you got to compete with other motherfuckers too. The more people that come into this world, there's more food that's, you know, that we got to, what's that, supply out. That's why it's probably going to be a food shortage because the more people, you know, the less resources. The more people, like I said, the more crime because the people that are actually reproducing 
a lot right now is still people that's in fucking poverty. Stop doing that. If you can't afford to take care of yourself, why are you still having fucking kids? Keep your shit in your pants and keep your fucking legs closed, man. This is getting ridiculous. I know my other videos and stuff, I was, you know, being, you know, like, it was like friendly videos, me being nice. It's no more Mr. Nice Guy. Not right now. It's a lot of stuff I've been wanting to get off my chest throughout the years. And once you said, once you said enough is enough, then enough is enough. It's too many people in this motherfucker, man. Way too many people. Now, I used to be back in the day where I didn't have no opinions about, you know, abortions and all that stuff. I was pretty much neutral about it. But now that they said that um, they have pretty much abolished it, abolished abortion where you can't get abortion more, that's going to make the population go even more. And see, that's the thing, though. I don't, <clears throat> I don't advocate for killing innocent kids. I don't, you know, that's not cool at all because nobody has to be here. But you, it's a lot of stuff that you could do to prevent that. First, there's abstinence, and then there's birth control, which women have plenty options of that. So there's no excuses. But I'm just saying, it's like if you people, if you're gonna fucking procreate, make sure that you. If you're going to be stupid enough to do it anyway, okay, make sure that you do it when you have the money, you know, you have the resources where your child can have a better life so he won't have to go through the trial, all these trials and tribulations that we're going through right now, man. But who the fuck wants to be born around this time? Like, you know, like, I feel bad for people that's born after two, especially after 2020, man. Even even starting, like, I'm going to say, like, in 2015 or something like that and over. Man, dog, it's not, it's not because we stay, we going through this inflation right now. And, bruh, you know, this is what pissed me off, too. Like, say this is, like, for the, for the people that are poor. That, that barely scraped by. Remember when Jack and Boss had them two tacos for 99 cents? You could buy about four of those. Spend $2 and maybe a chicken sandwich. And you was pretty much straight for the whole day. Or you could go to Little Caesars. And you know how they had their $5 hot and ready. And then way back in the gap. Not too, too long though. Subway had the $5 foot loans. But now... Yeesh. And full loans ain't no five dollars no more. And then on top of that, them hot and ready pieces ain't five dollars no more. You know that they're like six, almost seven dollars now, especially uh, depending on what area you're in. And let me not even get started on Popeye's Tuesday specials that used to start off as ninety nine cents. Why are they even still fucking calling it a Tuesday special, motherfucker? That's not a Tuesday special. Popeye's, your chick, your uh, two pieces like. How much is two piece? Like what? Two forty nine or it's something like that. It's like basically almost three dollars for a two piece. And let me and let me also say this too, with this TikTok shit and this social media stuff. You you have people going in front of a camera. Now I'm gonna just show you how evil and how this is a clown ass world we living in. You got some people going in front of a motherfucking camera, dog, stuffing their faces with bullshit, with junk food and stuff like that. I look on Facebook and these motherfuckers got like 50,000 or over 100,000 followers, man. And that's all they're doing is just sitting in front of a fucking camera, stuffing their faces. I hate to see that shit. And I'm going to tell you why I do. I don't support that. Back in the day, I used to because I didn't know any better. But the, from what I know now, I'm not I'm not going to support that lo- any longer because you basically what they what these because every they're sheep, and whoever follow these motherfuckers, you what it does is it influences other people to go out there and eat that bullshit. 
And you know what happens if you if you eat that shit and you keep on eating it, you end up gonna get health. You're gonna get health problems. And you know what's gonna happen? That's gonna cost you money, and you're gonna be supporting big pharma, buying their medicine and stuff like that, putting steadily putting money in their pockets. They already tax us half to death. They take taxes from my fucking checks. They take taxes from my 401k. Every time we buy something, they tax the shit. And then you you just steadily feeling, helping these people fill their motherfucking pockets up. And you doing these fucking videos. How about y'all do fucking videos of you sitting in front of a camera and you eating fruit and you eating vegetables? But you rather sit in front of the camera eating fast food and soul food and Chinese food and stuff like that. But let me guess, you probably won't even get that many views either if you if you did do that, right? Sick ass world. It's like this is crazy. You do something positive or you do something that actually will help the world, you ain't gonna get many views or whatever. But if you do something stupid or if you act silly on camera, you know, just do dumb ass shit. Like, like I said, eating junk food and stuff like that and doing silly little, I don't know, these stupid little trends they be doing, especially on TikTok, man. It's like, what the hell? And they up there getting all these views, especially only, I don't even get me started on OnlyFans, bro. And I'm not trying to sound like no hater, but that shit do pisses me off because you got people that are working on a nine to five job, busting their ass, working Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturdays. Oh, the weekend. And, I mean, busting and slaving away. But you have these motherfuckers, all they got to do is just sit there and look pretty and show they fucking titties. And they get paid, bro, they get like, they make thousands, like about 10000 or more per month. Because you got these motherfucking simps out here that's supporting this crap. It's more to it that I'm going to talk about. So this is going to be a, a series of basically the clown, this clown ass world we live in. So this is just part one. Stay tuned for part two. And then tomorrow, well, later on today, I'm going to do a video explaining who is behind this gender war. And it's not what y'all think. Trust me. You have to watch the video to find out though. All right. Once again, you know who it is. It's your boy, Mr. Joystick85. Like, comment this video, subscribe, and share it. The people need to know this message. All right. Peace.